Hi, welcome to Cowboy Studio and our instructional video series. Today, I want to show you one of our new stands. This is a smaller stand meant to do some of your backdrop work and be able to go into the background, sit along the side. So it's only going to be about two feet tall. But one of the great benefits of it too is that it gets really small, folds up pretty well. When you look at this particular one, this is our D9 stand, you're going to notice it's two distinct pieces. One is the legs and then one is the bar itself. When you look at the legs, you're going to notice that you can kind of pull these and arrange them as you would want. Now there is a certain point at which one leg won't go past in one direction, so what you'll want to do is just kind of find where they're going to be open into a nice kind of standard triangle shape, just like a tripod would work. And once you've got that, you've got a good base for your stand. Then you'll notice you can move this back. This is the screw that's going to tighten down and hold the stand together. And once you've done that, you'll be able to insert the stand, put it together, and then you've got an actual solid base stand. So when we put this down on the ground, you'll notice, of course, it's a pretty low height, and you'll be able to raise it up. So on me, that's going to come up just above my knee. But one of the interesting things about this stand is going to be this spigot here. You're actually able to reverse this between the 1 fourth and the 3 eighths. So if you need a larger one for certain uses, then you can switch it over to the 3 eighths. Or for the more standard use, 1 fourth is what most things accept your camera, for instance, and certain lights. But you'll have the option to go between both. In addition to that, you'll notice you can insert it from the side, insert it from the top, and it even has on the other side. So theoretically, you could put that in one of any of those ways and make sure you have the right uh, spigot end. So one of the advantages of that is that instead of having to have your light up here, you can put it off to the side, which if you're trying to light a background, then once we've tightened this down, that spigot's not going anywhere, it's stabilized on there. So if you're trying to say light behind a subject, like you might with me, instead of getting your equipment all up here, you can get it to the side and get a little more direct of a line onto the background. So that can be an advantage when you're trying to shoot a subject and you're trying to get the lighting just right behind them or to halo their hair or something of that nature. Now if you have any questions about this product or any of our others, please feel free to visit the cowboystudio.com website.